Hi everybody, welcome back to Daisy, and in this video I'm going to show you how to install AirDrop Upgraded onto your local server and then onto your remote community server too. Really fantastic mod this one. Um, it allows you to have player called in AirDrop, so you pop a flare, pop a special flare, and an AirDrop will drop down. And you can also have uh, predetermined AirDrops that will drop at certain locations over the map at predetermined times and uh, the mod will choose like a random airdrop to go to and then it will send an aeroplane there uh, as it goes through and you can see them coming down and the aeroplane flies over the map as well which is really cool and then you see the airdrop come down and it is very very configurable so big thank to, big thank you to G, DG Comtech for this amazing mod and uh, I guess he worked with Camino on PC as well um, now there are no dependencies for this mod as well so it's a standalone mod and there is excellent documentation that comes to it and there is even a discord you can go to to get help as well so make sure you hit the subscribe button in the steam workshop for it and then have a good read of uh, all the instructions down here join the discord and then what we need to do is you go over to the daisy launcher when you launch the daisy launcher it will download the mod and then we need to find out where it is first so if you click on the three dots here and then click on open folder in windows explorer this will take you to exactly the right place which is the daisy workshop folder on your computer and you'll see the airdrop upgraded so you want to copy that and then you want to go up a couple and you've probably got your daisy server in this directory so it'd be something like c program files x86 steam steam apps common uh, and you go in there and then you would paste and then you'll have airdrop upgraded ready to go there then we need to go into the airdrop upgraded go into the keys copy the key go up a couple again go to the keys folder for the server so it knows what it's meant to be doing and you would paste it in there next thing we want to do is we want to edit our uh, windows start file the dot bat file the batch file um, so sometimes it can be helpful to first left click then left click again and then copy the name of the mod um, just go to your batch file wh whichever one it is uh, that you use to start your server I'm going to do this one um, and then you're looking for the start line and then in the start line there will be a mod section <laughs> see all these different mods I've got on here and then within the mod section you'll have all the mods that you start when the server starts and as you can see at the end here I've got airdrop upgraded just there so semicolon paste the name of the uh, the mod if it's the last one it will end with the inverted commas if there's something after it put the um, semicolon in and then do that and then you would save that and then the server is really good to start go then so what you want to do is you would then uh, double click on your batch file to, to get it started to run the server through um, and once the server runs through once um, it will create a, a folder inside your config folder so your config folder can be called many different things but config settings profile um, but if you go into what you think might be the file, you'll find folders for lots of your mods. This is where they keep their settings, you see. So what you want to do is go into the airdrop folder. And we, what we're interested in is two files, really. There's airdrop safe zones and airdrop settings. So you'll want to open those up in your favorite text editor. So we've got them there. But what you'll also want to do is you'll want to go to the airdrop upgraded mod and open up the airdrop server guide. Um, because this is really excellent this and this is this document here and have a have a leisurely read through it with a cup of coffee don't get too intimidated by all the different um, uh, lang language and settings in because basically as it is as it's installed for vanilla that will pretty much work for um, pretty much work for Chernerus um, now when you've had a read through it and you've got your copy coffee ready then what we want to do is we can have a look at airdrop safe zones. So airdrop safe zones, these are Chernerus ones. The idea with this is is that you can put coordinates in and a radius around those coordinates where players cannot call in airdrops. So in this case, there's Green Mountain and Camerona, which are normally the places where you'd have a Dr. Jones trader. Um, so on other maps, you can have different ones or you could get rid of them altogether so players can call them in wherever they like. Then we want to get into the airdrop settings.json. Um, and this has got some really cool things on so probably the most important one you maybe want to change first is the interval so you change that to like 30 
minutes, 15 minutes, 45 minutes, 60 minutes, 90 minutes. You can you can change that. Um, the map width, height, well, width and height, you may want to change if you're running on, say, Namalsk, a smaller map. So Namalsk, I think, is 13,000 meters wide. Um, so you may want to change those two. If you don't, all that matters, it just takes the airplane longer to get to you when, it, when it's flying in. Um, all these other things are covered by the settings you can and you can read through there's normally different options for each one then if we scroll down you'll see you've got the different types of zombies that spawn with the different types of um, airdrops and this is where we get to the meat of it so here we got the drop zones now your file will probably look a little bit different to this one because the, I've changed this for um, Nimalsk um, coordinates which I've got from the Discord which I'll show you in just a second the top entry is the player called one. So this is when you pop a airdrop flare, the location will be random. And I've set it so that you'll get a random crate as well. So you can get random crates. You can get all sorts of different crates. So if we scroll down a little bit, you'll see. So drop types. So we've got food um, drop types. We've got tool drop types. We've got medical drop types. We've got uh, military East, Military West, so that would be like AKs or M4s, won't it? Um, and then, oops, let's go back up to the top. You can also change um, how if if zombies spawn in with them as well. So for the player call one, for example, I haven't got any zombies uh, being called in. But for the for the other ones, you may want well want to adjust the quantities. You might want more zombies. You might want less zombies, depending on how it is. And drop accuracy is how close. Um, the uh, the airdrop will be to to where you pop the flare um, when when it did it that way as well. Um, so that's nice and easy. Now you're saying, well, what happens if I'm running a map other than Chernerus, and how do I get the types to XML entry? Well, all you've got to do, and I'll put a link in the description below the video, is go to dgeocom text Discord, um, and then go to the airdrop upgraded section, and you can go into share your settings, and within here you'll find entries, for, uh, different entries for adding the airdrop flare. So if you want an item to have persistence in DayZ, um, it doesn't matter if the mod's got it. If it's not in your types.xml, that item will just disappear You know, on a server restart. Um, so by adding the airdrop flare, it means that this item will then have persistence. So when someone has one, it will stay with them. So you want to add that to the top of your um, uh, types.xml file on your server then if you go through here we go so for example this guy's got files for Pripyat um, the the um, nuclear map uh, well so we got let's have a look through config for dear isle here we go config for rosto so just have a look through and people have uploaded their own ones this is where i got the map mind the mouse one as well and then you can just simply copy and paste the drops very carefully so you don't mess the brackets up into the airdrop settings that json make sure you check the configuration on a json validator afterwards to make sure you haven't made any simple mistakes save that um, and then restart your server and then you'll get the airdrops coming down the other thing you want to do actually think about is you may want to add that name to your trader file as well so if you're running like a dr jones trader you'll want to um, add the uh, airdrop flare line to that with a with a sell price and a buy price and that's really it for put it on your local server now if you want to put it on our remote server we need to fire up our um, ftp program um, as you can see, I've already connected to my remote server here. And then, again, what I tend to recommend is if you run a local server, you'll know that the app's up to date because you can test it straight away. Um, so, and then you know you can upload the files from there onto your remote community server and you know it will work. So on the left-hand side, we've got my local computer. So if we go to Daisy server, and then we just take that and we would right-click, we would upload that, that would upload the airdrop onto the community server as you can see it's already here and then what we can do is we can open that up there's the keys folder and if we scroll down on here we can then right click and upload the key over to here but we now we need to do the batch file don't we we need to make sure the server will start with the with the mod um, and this is where you would go to the um, settings section on your server's um, uh, website um, and with Nitrado, for example, you don't have 
access to the uh, windows.batch file but we do through this line here so as you can see here I've added airdrop upgraded and you do it in exactly the same way as you would to a windows batch file so it's semicolon airdrop upgraded you would then save that and then you would restart the server and the server will restart and then it will generate the config folder we were talking about earlier with the airdrop in it so all you need to do now is replace the airdrop safe zone um, and the airdrop settings with the ones from your local server um, because then you'll know that they're working so if we then scroll down on the left to config and then airdrop what you see down here these are the, the new ones so we've got airdrop settings.json so I'd upload that that would go over the top of that one um, if I had changed the safe zone I would upload that that would go over the top of that one um, and then at this point as well you may well want to change your types.xml to add in so in fact, I won't be able to show you actually let's see if I've done it on this server MP missions uh, regular Damask DB types let's uh, edit this no I haven't added it into this one so let me show you how to do that so let's go here scroll up here where did he put it let's find one that works this is the one I use here we go so we copy that paste that at the top of there airdrop flare normal eight minimum five count it on people it's good so we save that re-upload that to the types that XML um, and then the other thing might be to to add that to your trader but I'll let you do that if you're familiar with trader you know how that works so we've adjusted that so what we would have to do now is restart the server the server will restart and then um, airdrop will be ready to go now I have had some problems with airdrop with a couple of things one of the things that I've noticed that sometimes happens is the config file the config um, get, gets overwritten um, sometimes and goes back to the vanilla settings so if you see that that's why it's always important to have a backup just up, uh, upload your new setting over the top of it just to make sure it's there and then once you've got it running then I suggest going back to the instructions and having a look through and seeing all the other things that you can customize and then you can start playing around with it so there we go that my friends is how you install airdrop upgraded on your local community server uh, your, sorry your local server and your remote community server um, I hope you found the video useful. If you have, hit like. If you want to see more of the same, press subscribe. And I will, of course, see you again soon.